here in Austin, deep in the heart of Texas, we're proving that some very big things can be faster too. Welcome to Abu. Kicking off a new age of nuclear power. Energy experts gathered in southeast Austin tonight at Allo Atomics. And the Austin-based company unveiled their new fully modular nuclear power plants designed to power data centers. Earlier this year, the governor announced a new focus on nuclear energy alongside some plans to bring more data centers to the state. In collaboration with our media partners at The Hill in a project supported by the Pulitzer Center, KXAN is exploring changes to the state's energy industry. Our senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson takes us inside this factory to investigate the potential future of nuclear. It looks more like a piece of farming equipment, but... This is a 50 megawatt electric nuclear power plant that is purpose-built for powering AI data centers. This reactor, called the Allopod, is the first of its kind. Built in just two weeks, it is designed to accelerate the new atomic age. There's a, a major initiative right now from both the national labs and the government to remain at the forefront of both AI and nuclear. Matt Lozak with Allo Atomics says his company has designed these reactors differently. Every piece of the power plant is built here at this South Austin factory. When you do this all under one roof, it essentially allows you to streamline the whole process and make sure that you can move very fast, very efficiently. After manufacturing around the room, final assembly of the reactor happens here. The second product is the factory. And the factory is putting out uh, dozens of these Allopod power plants every year. And that's enough to provide a gigawatt per year to these data centers. According to the Department of Energy, this means generating the same amount of power as 300 wind turbines. When you have issues around energy sources that may fail, uh, nuclear is a way to get around that. Houston-based attorney Mike Blankenship says many of his clients see advancing nuclear as an answer to the state's grid issues. I think right now we're kind of more on the infancy because it's not completely built out on the modular side. Allo aims to take those first steps in the modular space. We're not trying to make the whole building like traditional nuclear. We're trying to shrink that entire volume into a vault, essentially, that holds the reactor individually. Eric Hendrickson, KXAN Investigates. Allo Atomics plans to power up its first nuclear plant next year at Idaho National Labs. One of the main concerns with nuclear reactors is safety. Older reactors relied on water for cooling, which built up pressure as it heated and could explode like what happened at Chernobyl. Newer reactors rely on different materials for coolant. Allo Atomics uses liquid metal, which doesn't build up pressure when heated and can solidify in the event of a leak.